and talking about those teen retailers. Joining us now is Tim Bigham of Trading Block. How you doing, Tim? It's been a while. It has been a while, Angie. Doing great, thanks. Good to have you here. Let's talk about Abercrombie & Fitch. Investors were wild for the stock post-earnings that were not that great. What's your take? Yeah, absolutely. And that's the kind of price action from a trader's perspective I like to see. On Wednesday, they came out, you know, and had an earnings beat by a penny, but guidance was really, really weak. Uh, stock opened lower. Big put sellers came into position, be in essence buyers at lower level. Stock rallied from there. So I kind of like that price action following earnings on Wednesday. Certainly uh, yesterday had some consolidation of the gains. But kind of like the stock going forward, it's been a big underperformer, not only to the market, but the retail sector generally. So kind of like it from a valuation standpoint here as well. What would be your price target on this stock? You know, really looking on uh, any of these kind of names, about 5 to 7% higher from these levels here, certainly looking to take money off the table, given the fact that I think the market may be coming into a tough stretch going forward as well. Answer me this, too, because when you see earnings with a murky forecast, that was a big downgrade on that forecast, by the way, and then people are buying the stock. What does that tell you? Who's behind this? Is it just a trader play here where somebody could get stuck at the bottom? It's more of, I think, a washout on the stock. So, you know, the stock had been sold off sharply in front of that. So even though they guided lower, it really wasn't as bad as maybe a lot of the uh, traders and institutions have been playing for. Certainly that kind of price action kind of hints at a washout maybe on the share price that, you know, things got a little bit overdone. So from a trader's perspective, like that kind of price action. Thank you, Tim. You bet. Thank you, Angie.